The episode begins with everyone looking directly at Satella. That doesn't seem like a very polite thing to do. Man, Minerva is indeed impressed. There's a lot of smoke around Satella's dress, which means she's stinking as fuck. So many stinks. Subaru is swaying like he's in a sauna. He was in one known as your mom's vagina. Cause mothers don't have a pussy, they have a vagina. In this channel we all respect mothers. She says some things, how's she seeing? Satella asks Subaru for a hug. Let's face it, she's a devilish witch who almost destroyed the world. If he doesn't hug her I'll call him gay. She even petted his heart, just a few girls are willing to do that. Subaru refuses it cause she painfully stinks. I had forgotten that. He says she and Echidna are crazy. Poor Echidna hasn't even said anything in the episode and has already been cursed. He says he doesn't need help from any of them, curious since I don't remember anyone offering him help. Minerva says nonsense, gal, he is suffering the most, weren't you watching the anime? It still doesn't make sense. From this angle, I finally realized her eyebrow looks like a guitar pick. He yells at Satella, how ungrateful, shake my head. Satella whispers a few things, but as their whispers no one has any idea what it is. You know when someone's being nice to you, but you know the person has already done a lot of to you. However, the people around who don't know the situation, judge you cause you're not giving in, what just pisses you off. Well, that's what Subaru thinks is happening, but this isn't the case here. More and more flashbacks, I think we can call this season re Zero Shippuden. Subaru, get your shit together. After the memories, he kneels and puts his hands on his head. The girls look at him with a pitying look, it reminds me of my high school. Goth says Subaru shouldn't act like that, I guess she didn't realize she's literally laying in the grass. No bitch, the water tank I call the head is leaking. She even thinks about becoming Super Saiyan, but I gave up on the idea. Satella approaches and whispers again, but this time I think Subaru will be able to hear properly. Something tells me he didn't like what he heard. Typhon looks at him more closely and realizes he bit his tongue, I hate it when it happens. Whoops, I think he had stomach cancer, forget about the tongue. Minerva wants to punch Subaru's corpse, how bad? If she does 11 or 12 more horrible things I'll stop liking Minerva, she's losing me little by little. Typhon stops her by breaking her hand like glass, she has a different quirky. Minerva redeems herself by embracing mother nature, she was too aggressive, it's the thought that counts. Satella takes the opportunity to appreciate Subaru's cheeks, maybe you don't know, but he has beautiful cheeks. Then the protagonist dies, the end. Haha, I got you, you almost believed the main character would die in the middle of the season. Satella talks to Subaru, she's really happy to talk to him. Subaru on the other hand has no idea what's going on. Meanwhile, Daphne is stepping on Typhon. Seeing the size of the machine, I suppose it must be hurting a lot. Even Carmilla helped by manipulating Subaru's mind against his will, how cute. Echidna makes a short speech about how Clothespin gives hemorrhoids. Seeing through this point of view it seems Subaru died and went to heaven. Echidna extends her hand hoping Subaru will accept the contract with her, someone needs to teach her that no means no. Subaru refuses again and warns she better stop this sh otherwise, he'll call the cops on her. They end with a smile to pretend it's okay, but it's not okay. Subaru realizes he needs to say something smart to pleases the girls. Then he apologizes, but still, he talks to Satella, and she's impressed to find out he can speak like a homo sapiens. The sky is cracking and this world is disappearing. So this is Satella's face, boy, she reminds me of someone, but I can't remember who. Well, whatever, it's probably no one important. Subaru wakes up with a girl licking his face, lucky guy. Otto is there watching him sleep and be licked by Zero Two, interesting fella. Patrash came in and took Subaru out of the sanctuary, she even got hurt for not being qualified. That's the bruises, yeah, they look more like she's in need of a shower. Otto is talking to an irrational animal, that's what drugs do to you kids. And she Charizard is a goddamn Tsunere. And Subaru is a goddamn Goofy, and a crybaby. In fact, Charizard can also be female, that she was unnecessary. So he makes jokes doubting Otto's heterosexuality, these are the best. He tries to go back to the sanctuary, but there is an invisible wall preventing him. He even vomits just thinking he'll never drink Echidna's urine again. The valet takes Subaru's vehicle away, it's time to talk to Orochimaru, again. He looks at Rosewall, Rosewall looks at him, he looks at Rosewall and says, are you wearing lipstick? You need to understand Subaru, it's not cause you're not fabulous that Rosewall cannot be. Oh, his precious memories. They keep talking, Subaru's sad because deep down he also wants to be fabulous. The camera focuses on Rosewall's eyes, how beautiful, he has heterosexualism in his eyes. Did I say something wrong? I love these flashbacks about 8 minutes ago. He takes off his makeup, not even Rosewall can take these flashbacks anymore. He's so disappointed he ignores the conversation and takes a nap with Subaru right there. Subaru, concerned, asks why is he acting like a douchebag? Well, he's a douchebag. He doesn't even look at Subaru. What a cool earring, it's the McDonald's symbol upside down, now I feel I'm watching an anime. I wonder what's stuck to the ceiling to make Rosewall so impressed. Look at those heterozygous eyes. So he takes a book from behind the pillow and hugs it, fucking nerd. BD dubs, the person who hired Elsa to attack the mansion was Orochimaru himself, fucking snake. Subaru's pressure even dropped, you eat. Subaru bends down and begs Rosewall to cancel the attack. I just realized Subaru has a nice ass, sorry Amelia, but I love Subaru. He says he lost qualification and can no longer try the trial. As expected, Rosewall doesn't give a flying fuck for that. Subaru's vision is getting blurry, myopia is a real problem ignored by society. Society. He flees to the forest and ends up falling like a shit bag. Luckily the alpha male Chad appears to come as beta friend. We're watching them through mother nature's vagina. I told you I respect moms. Otto asks him to close his eyes for a moment. The Subaru uses his cheek to attack Otto's hand. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. I'd like to ask you to watch at least two videos of the channel in a row because it helps me a lot. Also make a friend watch this video too. Use violence if necessary. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Bye.